Hello everyone, welcome to the explanation. So in this video, I'll be covering this question number two. So if you if you can see, this is a structure question. So the question is create a structure complex containing real and imaginary as its member. So we have to create a complex structure named complex. It has got two member uh, members, real and imaginary. Write a program that uses the above structure to input two complex number and pass to a function which returns the sum of inter complex number in the main function okay so this is a structure question using function and we have to pass whole function to the sorry we have to pass the whole structure to the function okay so for from exam point of view it is very important so what the question says is you have to create two structure it has got real part and imaginary part okay you have to pass this structure to a function suppose add function is there so you have to suppose this function is uh, first and this function is second so you have to pass this first and second to the add function in that function it is going to add this two complex number and return the result to main function okay so we are going to pass this function and add the parts of these two functions uh, these two structures that real part and real part imaginary part and imaginary part okay so for example if a complex a complex structure real part is 2 and imaginary part is 3 if the second structure real part is 3 and imaginary part is 3 so what is the result 5 and 6 we know that real part is added with real part and imaginary part with imaginary part fine so let's go to the program portion <coughs> sorry so first of all we created a structured com struct complex okay i created a structure called a struct complex it has two members one is re real part one is imaginary part so this is my function declaration so struct complex it is a type of function sum this is the name of function and struct complex and struct complex these are the types of argument so as we are going to pass structure as argument so the type will be structure itself main function so struct complex my structure and i have created three structures first second and third so i'm going to add first and second and store the result in third okay so printf enter first complex number so what are the first complex numbers so it has got two members real and imaginary so we are going to scan up that two num two members so scan up percentage d percentage d address of first dot r and address of first dot i similarly we are going to read the members of second complex number that is address of second dot r address of second dot i so while passing in function i'm going to pass my two complex number that is first and second and whatever result come i'll be storing in this third structure okay so finally i'm going to print the members of third structure that is r and i third dot r third dot i okay so let's go to the function part so struct complex sum is the name of function struct complex and the argument i'm creating is c1 and second at c2 so whatever first structure what are whatever is the member of first structure it is it comes to c1 and whatever is the member of second structure it comes to c2 it means that there is a real and imaginary part for c1 as well as there is a real and imaginary part for c2 so finally i've created a structure called add in which I am going to add the real and imaginary part. Okay, so as all these structures you can see they are of type struct complex. So in all these structures they have got two members, real and imaginary. So add dot real equals to c1 dot real plus c2 dot real. Similarly, add dot imaginary equals to c1 dot imaginary plus c2 dot imaginary. Finally, I am going to return add form, add a structure. Okay, so this add a structure will return here and this will be stored in this third structure we can see so finally we can print third dot real and third dot imaginary if you want to print this imaginary part in the form of i you can put an i here okay so let's run okay enter the first complex number suppose 2 is the real part 3 is the imaginary part second complex number suppose 4 is the real part and 5 is the imaginary part so the answer is 6 2 plus 4 which is 6 real part 3 plus 5 which is 8 okay so let me um, for more differentiating let me put a plus sign here okay okay 2 real part 3 imaginary part 4 real part 5 imaginary part so the complex number is 6 plus 8i 6 is the real part 2 plus 4 and 3 plus 5 that is 8i is the imaginary part 
ओके होप यू गॉट दिस कोड सो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इफ एनी क्वेरी लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट बॉक्स थैंक यू एंड स्टे सेफ